Hey everyone, welcome back to the Route 4 Light CNC build. Uh, as you can see in the previous episodes, we've got the gantry mounted to the Y axis, mounted to the baseboard, and we're going to continue mounting the motion system for the Y axis. And then um, hopefully, we'll get the drag train mount and some motors mounted in this episode. So stay tuned and we'll crack on with the build.
we've done a good job getting the uh, ball nuts installed in the mounts, uh, getting the rest of the motors installed as well as the drug trains. I think it'd be worth noting if you were going to do um, this motor mount, I think it'd be wise to um, install the motor when you've got this plastic part off, similarly like we did on the uh, Y axis. It was a bit tricky to install that when it's uh, on. It's doable, but yeah, once, once this part's off, it would have been much easier. So I think in the next episode, we're gonna focus on some of the wiring, uh, in particular the end stops, get them in, especially for the Z carriage, because they're mounted in the actual um, spindle housing. And then we can get that installed with the remaining ball screw. Um, there's not many parts left. Uh, there's only one part. Um, this fella, this is for the dust shoe, uh, and this will accommodate a 40mm hose as well as a Henry adapter. So I'm looking forward to getting that on there, so I'll sit something like that. You good? Yeah? Right, whilst it's off, you can see where the cables go in the carriage. There's a little uh, trunking, routing path for the two um, compartments where the end stops will fit. Because it's quite a compact design, and uh, as you see how fiddly the rest of it's been, because it's so compact, we can't get the um, wires to root out the side. Because when it goes uh, hits the top, the um, ball screw nut or bearing block will be in the way. You don't want the wires uh, facing down because it will just get in the way of the workpiece. So there's a little channel in the plastic part where the wires will go through and come out. Now this does mean uh, we have to solder on or use some, some push fit connectors on the bottom of the end stops now. Um, but it was the only way I could get the whole package to fit together. Uh, I didn't want a machine without any end stops. Um, I think they're crucial, especially they're quite handy. If you have an issue with a job, you can rehome it and start your work again so yeah definitely handy and this is how it goes so next i'm going to uh, get the end stops and solder on the wires and then hopefully we can uh, offer it up to the um, cnc and mount the z-axis <laughs> Here's a close look at the Z carriage assembly. Um, the way I assembled it probably wasn't the best. Might have been better to get the uh, end stops in first, then the ball nut, but I thought I might not be able to get the ball nut in at the same time. So they're in. The um, mounting holes for the uh, end stop switches were undersized, so you didn't have to actually install a nut on the other side. Um, I've used two, two sizes of a uh, bolt here, but the end stop's securely in. They ain't going anywhere. So if you've got a slightly loose hole, you can put a nut on there to um, screw into, but for me it wasn't needed. The um, screws kind of self tap themselves away. And now you can see with the uh, end stops installed, the, we've got the cable train 
cable chain, so a cable trunking that goes through into the two compartments. Ready for the min and max end stops on the Z carriage. So now what we're going to do is get this, uh, make sure all the nuts and bolts are secure, and then offer this up to the Z axis. I did say it was tight, I've had to remove the washers from the um, ball nut because they, it was fouling on the plastic part. This is what you get when you want to put a uh, one and a half kilowatt spindle in a tiny CNC machine. So I got a little bit tired last night. It's another day and uh, I've had to think why this was going together a bit poorly and it was a bit tight. Um, what it was, was the ball nut that's in the uh, middle of the housing. When I did it um, off the machine, tightened it down, I must have brought it forward a little bit. So I was trying to bow the ball screw a little bit and it was a bit too tight to do it by hand. After a bit of fiddling around and uh, loosen it off and then it settled and tighten it back up again, it's much better I can actually move the uh, carriage by hand now whereas before I couldn't. So now we're going to continue wiring uh, the motors uh, and then think about getting the accessory uh, rail in and maybe even the spindle as well. But yeah, start, start doing a bit more wiring and see where we get to. Just a quick look what I've been doing. Um, I've inserted the uh, M5 by 25 mil long bolts with some uh, thumb nuts on the end of it. So when I actually come around to install uh, the adjustable adjustable height um, dust shoe, I can just uh, screw these off, stick them in, and then it will slide up and down on the rails to adjust the height. Or put a laser on there of some sort. And I think that might be the next addition to it but uh, yeah it's feeling really good nice and solid um, and yeah it's on let's have a quick look at the side view so you'll be able to see what I meant by the uh, end stop switches there'll be no room when this uh, Z carriage is all the way up um, so they've got to come out through the plastic part they they'll be mounted up to um, the power lead for the spindle so they uh, go up and down with the spindle itself but yeah it's looking really good I think I'm going to start wiring the end stops for the x-axis on uh, both sides here and here and then start thinking about the motors so it's not far off. <laughs> 